Welcome to Mora FC. It is what it is. In this tutorial, in this video, I'm gonna teach you the fastest and the easiest way how to cut all these four pieces together, how to cut it, how to sew it, everything that you really need. You are going to cut everything together, all these four pieces. You're gonna cut it together at once. There's no need of cutting separate things one, one, one. No, you are going to cut everything as one. This is the fastest and the easiest and the simplest way how to go by this stuff. It's Mora FC. It is what it is. I'm gonna give you all the tips and tricks that you need and achieve even this time so this is your center and top this is the part that you decide how wide how long you want the star to be you know you can't just cut it any sizes no we are going to place it on the center and top so you need to decide so if it's 10 inches you want it to be then you measure you mark you write down your 10 inches if you want it to be 11 inches or 12 inches you can see how i'm dividing it to each side and you're going to check the length of it this is after you have cut your center top front, the neck, and the shoulder, whatever. You have to finish cutting, then you check the length of it, how long you want yours to be. You know, so you can decide to make yours to be 10 inches by 10 inches or 10 inches by 14 inches. I was using uh, 10 inches by 14 inches, so you can make it 11 inches by 15 inches. That's where I said you can decide how long you'll be. So you're going to fold your fabric into two. You can see the fabric is being folded into two. You make sure that the lines fall exactly on each other. This part is very, very important. I'm telling this part is very, very important. So pay attention. I'm telling you, please pay attention. You need to let the lines fall in each other exactly. You can see it's folded into two and the lines fall exactly on each other. Then you're going to fold it like we are forming a bias. You fold it like we are forming a bias. That's how you're supposed to fold it. And you make sure that the lines also are straight. There's no curve, there's no burn, you know, it's what I have said. This line, make sure that lines are straight there. Everything is straight. You fold, you fold it like you are forming a bias from how to pop a neck. That's how you're supposed to do. You know the measurement? So let's say that the length, if the length of your, or your design is 14 inches, you're going to divide it by 2. So that will give you 7. And if the width is... 10 inches, we're going to divide it by 2 and that will give you 5. You see, you didn't go straight here. It is not straight. You have to come to this angle. Look at where the, um, my tip measure is. That's where the cutting is going to start. So this part will be the length of it. Please, like I said, make the lines fall exactly on each other, you know, and you're gonna achieve the best. So this part is the length of it. So if it is 14, you just have to divide it by two. If it is 15, divide it by two, and whatever you get, you just have to draw your straight line over there. Like I said, we are cutting everything at once, so you need to pay attention here. You make sure that you are working with accurate things, otherwise you're gonna fumble. So you draw your lines over there. Then you come to this side, this is the width of it. Also, you divide that part by two. So if it is 10 or 11 or 12, then you divide also that part by two. Then you go to mark. You make sure that your tape measure is straight. Your line is straight, just square that you're gonna form here are straight. You know, this part normally help a lot if you have a T-square. It normally help a lot so that you can get a straight line. So you make sure that you are having a straight line, correct straight lines over there. If not, wahala. So I'm going to transfer all the measurement to the other side, then I will cut. Like I said, this is the easiest way and the fastest way how to go by this style. I'm going to teach you how to stitch it. All the steps that you need to take. But when cutting it, you need to add some extra allowance to it. You need to add some extra allowance to it. Don't cut it exactly as the measurement. You need to add some extra allowance to it. It's more IFC. It is what it is. Please do well, subscribe, like, and share, and comment, and click on notification bell. 
when you cut this part don't open it up i say don't open it up just leave it like this and you check your measurement you can see that i didn't get the straight lines here so i'll trim that part off i'll leave it like this and I'll trim that part make sure that i get my actual size that i want my square my lines are straight then before then i'll spread it out like this before i'll open it up like this i will open it up like this then i'll check my lines and see if the lines are not matching then i have to uh, change it position till i get the right thing you can see that the lines are matching correctly at each other then you know that yeah we are on the right track then we move on So we're gonna fold it this way then we're gonna go and join that part and we're gonna do the same thing to that side so let's go to the sewing machine and let's go and do that when joining when joining you have to make sure that the lines also fall exactly on each other the lines fall exactly on each other it's more I have said it is what it is. If you have a start that you're having a problem with it, make sure you follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Facebook and it's linked to my WhatsApp. Then you say to me and uh, I'll see what I can do to help you. Please, if you have not subscribed yet, do want to subscribe, like, and share, and comment, and give me a thumbs up. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about more IFC. While stitching here, I'm, like I said, you have to be very, very careful. You make sure the lines fall exactly on each other. Take your time here. You know then you do it don't rush because you need to let the lines fall exactly on each other so after that then you check and see if the lines exactly fall on each other if they don't you just have to do it again just turn it tear it and stitch it again you can see i'm making sure that lines fall exactly on each other and i'm not rushing here i'm taking my time here so do well and take your time here as well to get the best results than doing very fast and you're not going to get the best results so as you can see as i'm doing it i'm checking that the lines fall exactly on each other they are matching each other exactly so like i said if you have a problem that you are facing you want me to help you out you want me to do the tutorial on it link me up on my facebook it's more ifc and my facebook page is linked to my whatsapp send it there and i'll see what i can do you know if I'll help you with audio, if I help you with video, just link me up. And if you wanna say hi to me, and just say hi to me, and you wanna say hi, you can still link up. And it's all about love, you know, more IFC. I'm here for you guys to make it things easy. So after that, you check and see as well if the lines matches each other. If they don't, you just have to uh, turn it again, just tear it again, remove your thread again, and you just stitch it again. Make sure that the lines fall exactly on each other. So after joining the two parts together, it's time to join the other parts. You can see, but for, for doing so, before we do that, we need to open this scene and you iron it. Open. Then we're going to do the same thing to here. You open the scene. Then you iron it so you can see i've already done that so it's time to join this part here you can start from the top to the bottom no you need to start from the center you make sure that the seam matches exactly on each other you take your time here like i said dealing with this part you need to take your time don't rush otherwise you're not going to get the best results There's some small space over there, so I need to close that small space. You know, I need to close that small gap. I don't want no gap to be there. Just closing that small gap. Please give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Like, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. It's more I have seen it is what it is. No. So, like I said, you make the notches. The seam matches exactly on each other, like the lines match exactly on each other to get the best results. So take your time, don't rush. There's no need of rushing here. You need to take your time when dealing with this because you want the lines fall on each other exactly.
Come on, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Compliment. Say something. You know, if you have a problem, just say something. Ask a question. I'll give you a response to that. So after that, you check. So every stitching that you got to do, you need to check and see that if the lines fall exactly on each other. Every stitch that you're going to do, you make sure the lines fall exactly on each other. Like I said, we start from the center and we do that. If you have a problem that you want me to help you out, if you have a tutorial, any style that you can't do it, uh, fumble over it, just send it to me on my WhatsApp. Uh, follow me on my Facebook, it's more IFC, and I will see how I can help you out. Free assistant, you know, that's what I'm doing, helping you guys to achieve the best. It's more IFC. Uh, I have the love for you, so you have to show the love as well. So after that, you just have to check and see if your lines as much exactly on each other. If not, we do them you need to see the part then you just have to connect the lines and you take your time yeah if you don't take your time you're not going to get the best results so you take your time so after that we're going to open the seam as well then we iron the middle of it So after here, I just have to put my fusing on it, you know, call it stiff. Ghana, you find a stiff. You are not a stiff iron, I tell them. So I do it so now, but true. Because someone could, I can't even see someone could. I'm going to lie. I'm going to say someone could, but line not be match. Be match. I can't understand that. You should have someone could, you see, line not match. Michael. You follow steps now, yeah, my easier. If you follow my lead, or follow me steps now, but wow, line on SL to Boise. Ha, now the line, I'm a line, I add that line also, or mother so. Ha, be at it as you come, 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 oh, come on, what to Boise, and rush it. Sad lines, you know, oh, yeah, now rush here, bones and that, waiting, and match it, so I say, aha, and match it. And you, yes, our lines, you know, SL to Boise. Send him see food, you know, send him see corners, and why in the side, boko, 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 now call baby. We are not the stiff hiding, Italian, so I say, who follow steps, now me, any, nana, I be wow, I be simple, man. So after putting your stiff on it, you can see how it is, then you see, we are done. You just have to fold uh, at quarter or half inch in allowance that you think that is suitable for you. You just have to check if your measurement is accurate, the measurement that you want to use. So you know that you have an excess space, uh, the other ones that you need to fold, you know. Then you just have to fold it. But after joining everything, after ironing everything, you just have to come and check if there's a part that need to trim out, then you just have to trim some part off and you dress it, do you understand? That's how it goes, you know. You have to dress it and you trim, you make sure that uh, everything match perfectly. No curve, no burn. Do you understand? Uh, black it, abala, black it, and then there. Um, I'm gonna get cool, abalo, yo. Cool, abalo. I'm gonna get cool, abalo, get. So that's how it is. We're making things easy and fast and simple for you guys. You know, it's love. It's love. It's all about love. You know, it's all about love. It's more IFC. Link it up and we do more green. More tutorials are coming easy and the fastest and the simplest way. It's more IFC. It is what it is.
Voila, you can see how beautiful it is. Oh, it's a moon. Salmon. Ah, Have you seen it? Have you seen it? So you need to trim uh, the edges of you know after folding the half inch or quarter inch you need to see that some edges will be popping out and you just have to chop that part off no no we don't want it to be showing and be careful when you are chopping some part off not too much you just have to a little bit so that it give you a perfect heading out just have to iron it so after that you just have to take your sinaton top and you iron it, you make sure you get the right center together. So when joining it, when you want to stitch it to your center top, you make sure that um, the lines of the center passes through the lines of the center, you know, and you leave like five inches away from the neck side. After cutting the neck, you need to cut the neck after cutting the neck. And you need to measure like five inches or five and a half inches away before placing your design on it. And I think that one will be okay. Or maybe six. You have to decide where uh, it will suit you. Do you understand? Getting my lines here, you can see the lines approach nicely. So the lines, the middle of this one of the design have to fall exactly on the lines. Then you just have to give it a top stitch. And that's it, you have done. It's more IFC. It is what it is.